Tim donates to streamer, instantly regrets it. This man steals a laptop. Turns out it was owned by a dark web hacker and has a cool $10 million on it. Unfortunately, Only? he wants it back. While fiddling on his freshly stolen laptop, we catch a glimpse of Matthias as the computer glitches out. Okay. Strange. He downloads a project he's been working on and gives it a spin. It's a live translator for deaf people. That's actually really cool and wholesome. After yeah. logging into Facebook, Matthias reaches out to his girlfriend, Amaya, and you guessed it, she's hot and deaf. He shows off his little passion project to her, but she's less than thrilled. Uh, I guess. In fact, I uh, think I accidentally after skipped. logging into Facebook, Matthias reaches out to his girlfriend, Amaya, and you guessed it, she's hot and deaf. He shows off his little passion project to her, but she's less than thrilled. In fact, she hates it. She starts speaking Damn. in Italian, I mean, sign language, and sadly, Matthias doesn't actually know how to sign all that well. As an angry Amaya walks away, the laptop acts up once again. Wait, so he was doing a passion project for deaf people and she, he said, I don't, she said, I don't like it? That don't even make sense. Walker, where you been, man? Are you even finding, where, how am I finding these videos? Chat sends them to me. He tries to call back, but she's not interested. Instead, he logs into Skype. What? And boy, does that bring back the good old days. It Suddenly, does. He starts receiving naughty Facebook notifications from the laptop's previous owner, Nora. Matthias logs out of his Facebook and the other account's details fill in. Okay, a little peek never hurt anybody. Matthias comes to learn that the previous owner was a Chad, perhaps even oh. a Sigma male. He's oh inundated my God. with messages from hot local singles that are ready to. Ooh, what's this? <laughs> All right, I'll let that play for your enjoyment. Anyway. She was never seen ever again. Did you send the plane tickets? I've got so much more to show you. So he's flying women out? That's not a Chad for real. The bro just paying for cooch. What do you mean? Flying <laughs> He's a Chad. What the world? I'm so... Oh, Nora. Been waiting so long. When are you ready to meet up? Nora. 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 You're finally online. Tickets haven't arrived yet. You're such a tease. He's paying for coach. I, I, I don't, I don't want to hear nothing for it. Wait, it seems all these girls were promised a free plane ticket. Oh, his friends are calling. Matthias enters the group call and we meet AJ, Damon, Lex, okay. Nari, and Serena. Okay. Looks like they're having a game night. Not sure what that's all about. Moving on, the group plays cards against humanity. Hi, my name is Kendra. I'm from Malibu. I'm really into the systematic destruction of an entire people and their way of life. Wait, did Netflix make this? Mm -hmm. After a few rounds Wait. of this, AJ makes note of- Wait, what the fuck? Wait! What? People and their way of life. My name is Kendra. I'm from Malibu. I'm really into the systematic destruction of an entire people and their way of life. Wait, okay. did Netflix make this? Wow. After a few rounds of this, AJ makes note of Matthias' fancy new camera. Are you rocking some new drip? Guilty as charged. Picked up this bad boy off Craigslist. Oh, not this again. Before Matthias can return back to his call, Nora's notifications draw him in once more. This time, they're in French. A little Google Translate reveals another ticket related. I cannot wait to see you. Will you, will you send the pain ticket, plane ticket? You said you would pay. Get a job! Did inquiry. Okay, this is getting weird. I'm gonna log out. He returns back to the call to find AJ dropping absolute truth bombs. It's not just the corporations, the government is in on it too. Why do you think Facebook and Twitter are free? Because you are the, the product. product. Yeah. Okay, that part. I know I'm the product, man. And I'm producing something good too. You know, my semen like pollen, bro. Infectious. Everywhere I go, it's just impregnate, impregnate. We don't got no problems around here because I be producing mad products, bro. If anything, Facebook should give me 3% of their stocking. I should own 3% with the amount of kids I be producing. I be, I be, I be in swimming pools, old lady swimming pools only, bro. You know, 60 plus. I don't, I don't like, I don't like the young shit. Anything under 60, too young. I be in, I be in the old lady swimming pools just busting along. Point blank, period. Part's true. Matthias and Damon start chatting in private. Oh my God, AJ will not shut up. <laughs> He's been watching too much Alex Jones. By the way, did you crash? Turns out Damon's kind of a computer whiz. He helps Matthias troubleshoot. Yeah, the hard drive's probably full. Strangely, Matthias can't find any files on the computer. Here, just download this app. Matthias looks up Daisy Disk and gives it a run. Okay, looks like the majority the of the space is being taken up by hidden files. Damon walks him through how to reveal them with a couple of hacker commands. Matthias finds three items. Nerd? Account, the river, and an untitled folder. He searches through it and finds random recordings from within people's homes. I'll let this one play for your enjoyment. Oh yeah, buddy! Sorry. And despite having logged out, play for what? your enjoyment. Oh, 
Suddenly, and despite having logged out, Matthias receives another notification. I know you're there. What nope. the world? Back to the group chat, Nari and Serena have an announcement to make. Bam! Excitement erupts, but things quickly fall on a somber note as AJ jokes about Nari's- Who are- I'm confused. Did she- Is she married to the woman beside her? I'm confused. Is she gay? Disapproving parents. She doesn't take it well. Disapproving- Matthias lends oh. up the mood by bringing up Serena's so supportive gay. mom. Oh yeah, she's so excited. Though, once again, we're hit with a curveball. Serena's expression shifts to sadness as Nari reveals that the cancer has progressed. I remember when I had to put my dog down. Okay, AJ has the social skills of a Redditor. What right the after, Matthias tries to reach out to Amaya again, but she's ghosting him. He opens up a video of them titled, The Hike That Changed Everything. It's cute, but at the same time, really hard to sympathize with this guy. He literally cannot communicate with her. So they just kind of stand there and make weird faces at each other. Oh, she's calling. This chat, friend group is weird, not I'm not really. gonna lie. His lips move too fast for her to read and he barely knows sign language. She explains that the app he made only helps her understand him and not the other way around. What mm. about those classes I signed you up for? I, I went to the classes, I swear. Matthias did not go to the classes. Suddenly, more messages appear. They catch his attention and an angry Amaya notices. She hangs up and Matthias gets- Amaya, I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. You, you just, you, you doing too much. I'm not gonna lie, bro. You, you, you too much. You too much of a hassle. Uh, cutting off right now. She in the right? Nope. She in the wrong. Cutting off right now. I don't have the time for that, bro. That's a, that's too much. No. If I send you 10 messages and you see them and you not replying, we're a done deal. <laughs> it's the bottom of things. Someone named Erica Dunn is hitting him up. You stole my laptop. No, I got it on Craigslist. I swear, Erica. Turns out it's not Erica. It's Nora. He asked for the Craigslist link, but Matthias has nothing to show. So, Matthias admits defeat. Okay, I'll leave it where I found it. He logs out, clears his history, and starts the shutdown sequence. What? As he bids his friends farewell, more messages pop up on his screen. Charon68 says, I like what you contributed last week. You still doing custom jobs? What? Matthias' intrigue is piqued. He opens up the chat, and Charon68 adds that he's already he's sent a so payment Caucasian, his way. Bro. As the countdown approaches he's zero, so, he's so Caucasian. Prevails. Matthias continues the convo, asking Charon68 what he wants. Let's talk on the river, he replies. Matthias boots it up, then heads back to the group call while he waits. Hey, what the hell? Turns out the river is a river. His friends notice oh, his shook cool. expression and ask him to share his screen. He does so, and Damon explains that what they're looking at is an overlay network. My man's is behind about 15 different proxies. A chat room pops up with several users named Charon. Whoa, what? that's like the dark web, AJ says. Then, Damon realizes something. Charon, Why is he so excited? It's the third minute of the day. Lex is shook. Whose laptop did you buy? Matthias reveals- Finally, someone with common sense. Y'all just letting y'all friend be on the dark web and y'all like, this is a fun, jolly good time. People just play with their lives. I don't get it. The truth. Well, I actually stole it. It was just sitting there in the lost and found of the cyber cafe I've been working at. He proceeds to explain- How is that stealing? It's in the lost and found. <laughs> That's not stealing. The fuck? What? Since when is it- Since when is that stealing? And that he logged into the original owner's Facebook. Nora see the fall and started receiving messages about a custom job. Upon seeing the profile, Damon realizes that Nora C is just Charon spelled backwards. Spooky. Matthias shows his friends the strange recordings and they realize that the file names are addresses, local ones. Then, AJ asks if Matthias checked the account link. What he finds changes their lives forever. Upon entering the account, the group finds themselves staring at a Bitcoin wallet worth over $10 million. Oh, the Bitcoin. Oh. Not the Bitcoin! Oh my god, so much Bitcoin! <laughs> In fact, that 10 million just hit the count a few minutes ago. Damn! Suddenly, a new message appears. Did you get it? Charon68 proceeds to make a special request. For this girl, he wants a slower method. With bated breath, the group watches as the conversation continues. What method? Trepanation. A quick Google search reveals that trepanation known as is a sculptural procedure in which a hole is drilled in the size of the skull into the skull using simple surgical tools so they want a skull S sex somebody what nation is when a hole is drilled into the skull the severity of the situation begins to set in charon 68 adds that he wants him to put something inside show it to her first i want to see her eyes and use a mirror. I want her to see it going in. I'll pay more if it's something alive. And if she's alive when it goes in. The group erupts with despair. As oh, nah, guys. I'm getting chills. I don't know about this one, bro. I don't know about this one. <laughs> nah. Hell nah, bro. I don't, I don't know, bro. They beg Matthias to close the screen. 
He does so, and before he can even process what happened, Nora's messages flood his screen. I'm at the cafe, where are you? Though, AJ grabs his attention and asks him to check the folder at the bottom. Serena Why? turns around to stop, but they proceed forth. They find I don't know about this, bro. I don't know, bro. This is this is not my part of the internet. This is where I stay far, far away from, man. The fuck? The bottom. Serena pleads with him to stop, but they proceed forth. They find the depths of human depravity on full display. Is that Each acid? video is worse than the last. AJ concludes that Why are y'all still scrolling? Give the laptop back. Why are you Oh, uh, oh, uh, let me drink water and calm down. Trading and Nari gets curious about the final video. It's got an address on it and is much shorter. Matthias has a look and we find Nora climbing into a girl's window before leaving her a kiss. Nari reasons that this girl's probably still alive and suggests getting the police involved. Before he can answer, Matthias receives a call from Amaya. He picks up, but no one's there. Her roommate Kelly arrives shortly after and then the camera starts glitching out. Oh my god, it's Nora, and he's a super hacker. His powers are so vast that his mere presence causes the camera to glitch out. Plus, his messages look cool, and he types without even moving? And check this out. Wait, 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 wait. My man's just telepathically deleted his messages from Facebook servers. <laughs> anyway, Nora hides while Amaya and her conveniently deaf self pull up. She notices that Kelly arrived, so she heads to her door. Fortunately, Matthias manages to grab her attention. He does his best to keep her from the room by suggesting that her man is over and that they're... Whatever, I'm gonna go get dressed. Super hacker Nora returns and reveals that he can see and hear everything Matthias has been doing on the computer. Alright, no problem. I'll head to her place and give you the laptop. Eh, not so fast. Nora doesn't want him or any of his friends to leave his sight. So, Amaya is gonna have to go to his place and Nora will follow. This... Doesn't make any sense. What? But what does in this movie? What? I... What? Huh? Tyus returns to the group call and everyone is freaking out. Nari's about to call the cops when threatening messages from Nora pop up. Quick on his feet, Matthias shouts, It's a game, guys. I, I was just joking. It's it's a game I've been working on. Somehow, they buy this. Even Mr. Smarty Pants computer guy Damon falls for it. However, Nari ain't so ignorant. She continues to question Matthias, but he has more important things to take care of. Now that Amaya's back and dressed, it's time to talk. He makes sure to go nice and slow so she can follow along. Through the power of his sweet-talking charm, he's able to convince her to come over. She hangs up, and we catch a glimpse of AJ's YouTube Can someone explain to me why he couldn't just uh, delete the thing, the, like, clear his history and just go back to the restaurant? Can someone explain why he couldn't just left the laptop? I, I, don't, I don't understand why he had to keep going through it with his friends and then... <gasps> Can you continue with this nonsense? I, I don't get it. Channel. Relatable. Upon returning to the chat, Nari is immediately back on his case. What about that girl? The one that's next? Where did you get that video? Sorry, guys. Fortunately, the conversation is interrupted by Lex receiving a call. Oh, During the no. interruption, Matthias searches the address on the video and finds news articles about a girl that went missing. Erica Dunn. Hmm. That's familiar. That's the name of the account Nora was messaging him from. Then, Damon inquires- I knew he was kidnapping him! Uh, that made sense. That made the most sense. How Matthias was handling the decision tree for the game. Like, what would have happened if we took the hacker's money? Hey, good idea. Matthias makes a new wallet, then meets the group chat and speaks directly to Nora. You'll get this money back when Amaya and Erica are safe. Nora warns him of the big mistake he's making while Matthias finalizes the transfer. He explains that the other Charons monitored the Bitcoin account. Wait, wait, did he just threaten the person who is literally snuck into his girl's house and kidnapped her roommate? That's the person that he just threatened. The hacker who 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 can just telepathically delete messages off Facebook. That's who you're threatening. Like what the fuck? What are you? Oh my. Okay, bro. I'm gonna think he's trying to cash out. Suddenly, we're back in the river, and it's got way better graphics this time. 
Uh, whatever, I'm just gonna close this. No, do not close it! A chat window pops up and several Charons demand he confirms his identity by reciting a secret code. Nora calls in and reveals his true form. Oh, he's just a dork in a hoodie. A little bit of back and forth arguing ensues before Nora gives up the code, but they're not safe yet. The Charons want to know why he drained the account. Nora comes up with an excuse and Matthias types it in. Are they buying it? Uh... And just like that, Matthias gets booted from the river. Shit just got real. Back to the group chat. A bunch of Charons join the call and AJ is loving it. Wow, this is so cool. He Guys, I'm lost. This is dumb. This is really dumb. This is really dumb. He doesn't realize really what's really going on. This is really then, dumb. Then the Charons pull up a video showing how they found out where Lex lives. We cut to some phone footage just outside her place. A woman is seen standing on top of a roof when a hacker man appears. I love how after they kill her, they also ban her from the group chat. Frankly, I don't know which is worse. Oh my god, was that Lex? What's going on, Matthias? Tensions hit a fever pitch. Why was he on the roof? How did the hacker's clothes glitch? My comes. head hurts. Meanwhile, Amaya is about to enter the subway. The very moment she loses signal, he shouts, Guys, it's real! The whole thing is real! Since Nora is following her, he also loses connection. Matthias uses the moment to explain the situation. We all need to chill out and just play along, or Amaya's gonna die. Her connection resumes, and everyone does their best to keep it together. Haha, <laughs> we're having a good time, blah 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 blah. Nora mostly buys it. Okay, they're back offline. This time, Matthias gives Damon remote access to the computer so that he can back up all the files as evidence. Smart. What? Also, Nari seems to have left. Amaya comes back online, and we learn that the subway broke down. Damn, what can't these hackers do? Oh no, they're back. And her her black girl is gonna be done. She's done for. The black girl, she's 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 gonna get clapped up. I'm telling you. This time, they're going after AJ. They pull up a cut up montage of his videos before calling the cops. Sir, is this a real emergency? I'm gonna pack up all my assault weapons. Oh, that's clever. They chopped up his clips and make it seem like he's about to do something very heinous. Panic begins to set in, and before he knows it. <laughs> As the police storm in, one of the Charons hacks AJ's computer and prepares what a spicy hell? sound file. Oh, he's cheeky. Look at him circling around that play button. Damn, that was uh -huh. cool. Oh my god, they <gasps> What? What? Oh my god. Looks like Nora has realized that Charons have been cleaning things up. Fearing for Amaya's safety. Yep, that's what happens when you threaten a hacker that knows nearly everything that's what happens when you threaten someone who is 10 million dollars transferred to them in one transaction one transaction they get 10 mil you can't mess with that person whatsoever this is called karma matthias begins to freak out but serena mentions that nari actually left to go pick her up just as she says that the lights go out the charons return and play a video they recorded of serena and nari before the game night even began serena is seen talking to nari about not wanting to have to make her choose between her and her parents and the charons took that personally they make Serena choose between Nari, who's at the subway, and her mom, who's on life support. The clock ticks down, but she ultimately can't choose. So, they ice them both. Oh, Nari kinda got hands. Oh, oh my Thomas god! Thomas out with his bike, and Damon is left alone with the Charons. He lets them know that he too is a hacker guy, and has downloaded all their files and coordinates. Ha, <laughs> you fool. The Charons pull up a video where they photoshop Matthias' face onto Nora's. Then, we see them dragging a body into his apartment. They force Ad Matthias to the call, and Damon shares his revelation. This was all a setup from the start. They wanted you to find the laptop. They're gonna mm. pin their crimes on us. Then, mm. he gets kicked from the call while Amaya gets added. She's outside some sketchy building. I thought you texted me to come here. Matthias tries to save her, but gets his camera disabled. The Charons activated his translation app and use it to trick Amaya. Yes, come inside the <laughs> creepy building. Okay. Meanwhile, Damon what gets added back to the call, and we see him get this strung up. This is so up dumb, bro. Also, this a is so stupid. Been typed up on his computer. Back to Amaya. <laughs> the hang-up sound. An absolutely devastated Matthias cries out. Why are you doing this? It is game night. A poll appears, asking whether or not he should live. Thousands of votes flood in as Matthias breaks out into hysterical laughter. They pull his webcam feed up, and we see that whoever they dragged in has woken up. She's got a strange marking on her head. Oh. It's Erica. She cries out for help before realizing something's wrong. <laughs> and looks like the vote. Votes are in. I'm afraid it's going to be game over for you, Matthias. Thanks for playing. <laughs> As the film oh ends, we God. see that this whole operation was really just their version of game night. Quite a few hacker guys and gals made the magic happen. Even this officer was in on it. Just look at him. Wait, so the dark web had a game night and their game night was just murking some random children?